ठीक है This is how I configure a workspace. Anyway, you have the ability to choose it from inside the Eclipse. Uh, let us configure it right away before starting the Eclipse itself. Once I give this directory, make sure uh, you can click on OK and then go ahead with Eclipse uh, configuration. But make sure that Java workspace is created inside Eclipse folder. Now I'm going to say OK. You can always choose this select this checkbox so that the workspace launcher will never you will never see it again clicking on ok so eclipse home page is displayed eclipse home page is displayed here i'm going to click on workbench Workbench is where we work on our code. It is basically a per perspective or a representation of our project, our code and our resources. If I dive into Workbench, you will see a window like this. Let me maximize the Eclipse. Okay. This is what I get. Remember, you should click on Workbench, the icon which I clicked on it. Once you click on it, you will never see it again. Okay. Now, this is the package explorer in the left panel. In the middle one, there is a gray area where you see your code. Okay. Task list and outline, we do not need it. We do not use it. Okay. The bottom window, problems, Java doc declaration and console and logs will be displayed right here. I I am going to create a project right now for a first development project. Okay. Click on file, new, and say Java project. Project name will okay. Let me do one thing. Before getting into Eclipse. There is one more important thing which we need to understand. I'll just type everything here. Install Java. Install Eclipse. Okay. The next thing will be install TestNG. One second. Okay install testng you may ask what is testng testng is a framework is a framework which can be utilized to execute our test cases okay it is a framework a unit testing framework as the developers call it you need to install it in Eclipse, okay, so that we can execute our Selenium scripts. Now, I'm getting back to my Java Eclipse. The third step is install TestNG. Open Google and type install TestNG. Okay. The first link which you see testng.org slash doc slash download.html is where is from where you can download your testng. I just navigated to that web page. Okay. Now there are two things. For Eclipse 3.4 and above, you should use this URL. For Eclipse 3.3 and below, you should use this URL. What we are trying now is installing the test ng plugin into eclipse okay install test ng plugin in eclipse okay without plugin we will not be able to execute our test cases 
okay so the plugin can be installed by one of these URLs by making note of your Eclipse version I am going back to my Eclipse to see what is my Eclipse version it says Eclipse platform here it says 3.7 which means my IDE which I have installed is about 3.7 is about 3.4 so I can always go with the URL the first URL you don't have to care about it you can always choose about 3.4 because as you are going to download a newer Eclipse you can always go with the first URL but if you are trying to utilize your old Eclipse which you are already using for any other thing you should look into these things so I'm copying this URL I'm copying this URL I'm going back to the Java Eclipse click on help okay install new software install new software okay paste the URL in this area paste the copied URL in this area and say add okay the moment you click on add it will say add to repository I'll name it as test ng plugin okay I just copied the URL to this available software drop down work with drop down and click on add which means adding this particular repository to my Eclipse okay what happened with open source development is that we will not get any uh, installation files for everything they will have their own repository from there we can fetch our downloads that is what we are doing now we are trying to connect with testng repository which is a framework used for I mean uh, testng is a framework used for unit testing and we are going to fetch the testng's repository by accessing this location beust.com slash eclipse okay I am saying ok right here the moment I say ok you are getting an entry right here okay follow me closely because all these steps will be a little complex although I'm recording this webinar I want you to take notes for yourself because once you are, you did not practice the moment after this session or by today forgetting this is highly possible so I strongly advise you to take notes now as I have added this repository you are seeing these two entries this is the test ng plugin which we need to install in Eclipse okay choose this one choose this item and say next okay this thing got displayed once we tried to fetch the test ng repository it gets us the newer version the current version which is available for us in the repository click on next so it will start installing the test ng for our eclipse okay it will take a while depending on your network band let us see so install details is this one it is able to calculate all the dependencies and it says that this is the only plugin you need to install I'll click on next I accept the license agreement and then say finish so installation is started installation of test ng plugin is started right now it will go on 
installing and the uh, positive thing about this is that it will resolve the dependencies I mean if any of you have tried to install a software with dependencies in Linux or Unix environments you would have known this dependencies dependencies are something which are prerequisites to what we are going to install so it may take a while I think so if you have any questions you may ask